Mm. And um, and do you do you always use stem prosthesis on the theme, or do you do you do like for a resurfacing style of operation? So uh, resurfacing was something that we you can do resurfacing through anterior approach. There's no reason why why it's not, not feasible to do it. Um, yeah. I think generally resurfacing has fallen out of favour. Um, there's been an awful lot of uh, press, uh, you know, even in the general press, not just in the orthopaedic press, but uh, worries about metal on metal hips. Um, the hip resurfacing is a great option if you're young, male, and high elite sportsman. Obviously, Andy Murray famously has had a hip resurfacing so that he can continue with his tennis career. Um, but there are downsides, and, and in fact, um, I believe that there's a documentary about Andy Murray's hip resurfacing uh, that you can watch uh, on the TV. Uh, and his surgeon, very well-known surgeon, made it very clear to him that she was she was happy to do a hip resurfacing for him so that he could carry on his tennis career as long as he understood that there was a significant chance that within seven or so years that hip may well fail and he would have to have it you know, redone. Mm -hmm. And I think for most of the general population, you don't want to have a hip replacement uh, of any sort thinking that within seven years it will have to be further, you know, they'll have to be further surgery. Yeah, it's not that long, is it? Um, mm. Excellent. And then most of my most of my patients want me to tell them that they'll have a standard style hip replacement, which has a greater than 95 percent survival at 10 years, greater than 90 percent survival at 15 years. And we know that, uh, again, data from our National Joint Registry, uh, a, a hip replacement with a, a polyethylene socket and a ceramic ball in it has the best longevity data, according to our National Joint Registry. Yeah. So. So for me, that's ceramic on the end of the femur and the articulate yes. polyethylene in the SSM. exactly, exactly. Yeah, and as you say, the ceramic quite a lot less um, wearsome than a, than a metal. Exactly, yeah. exactly. For yeah. some very young patients, might consider using both a ceramic socket and a ceramic ball. Um, potential that there may be better longevity with that. There are downsides with using ceramic against ceramic as well. Uh, so for most patients. I don't think that's necessarily the best option, uh, but uh, you know, we know what what the bearing surfaces are doing with hip replacement surgery. That's one of the joys of having this this fantastic joint registry that's been running for decades, right. and the outcome data clearly shows us what works and what doesn't 